Hello! Welcome back to another episode of Cooking in College. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a super fantastic, very exciting, and delicious deep fried Nutella dipped banana. Let's get started. The first thing that you'll need for your Nutella battered deep fried banana is a banana. Any ripeness will do. Actually, if it's a little green, it'll probably uh, deep fry a little bit better just because it's a little more starchy. But this is what I have on hand, so we'll see how that turns out. Second, Nutella. If you don't have that, try chocolate syrup. That might be good. Uh, next, you're going to need some sugar. A quarter cup. Some vanilla. An egg. Some all-purpose flour, some cornstarch if you want to add a little bit of a crunch to the breading of your ba your uh, banana, and last but not least, certainly most important if you're going to be deep frying this is some oil. I'm going to be using corn oil because corn is a great vegetable. Alright, and then on top of that, the optional ingredients, some ground cinnamon, you can sprinkle that over the top when you're done. And another optional ingredient is some powdered sugar, you can just sprinkle that over the top when you're done frying your bananas. Now let's get started. We already have our oil heating up over here, and uh, while that's getting hot, we're going to prepare these bananas. First we're going to make the batter. I'm going to add a quarter of a cup of sugar and a quarter of a cup of flour. Doesn't have to be too precise. Next, I'm going to add one egg. And then a little bit of vanilla. Just going to eyeball it. That's probably way too much, but that's okay. So, we'll just stir that up, see how it looks. We might need to add a little bit of water or milk. So this is what that all looks like when you mix it up together. Pretty good consistency. I don't think we need to add any water or milk. Next, we're gonna cover the banana with Nutella. I'm gonna cut mine in half so that it fits in the pot of oil a little bit better. This might be a little bit tricky, so I'll just go ahead and do it and then show you the final product after. Well, that turned out to be a challenge. So, as you can see, I didn't get them as perfectly covered as your imagination might have led you and I to both believe that would be possible, but that's just fine. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and toss these into our little batter, and then from there, I'm going to put them into this flour and cornstarch mix and just kind of toss them around and get them coated. And I'll show you the final product after I've got them coated. Well here they are folks. They're not beautiful, but I'm sure they'll taste delicious. So now that we've got our Nutella covered bananas battered and breaded, we're going to put them in the oil. Ooh, look at that. Now we're going to leave them in there so they're nice and crispy. Well, we're going to just go ahead and chalk this one up to learning experience, and I'll show you why. <laughs> so, uh, apparently, I don't actually know what happened. Just something with the oil was pretty darn hot, and it uh, cooked faster than I thought, and the Nutella kind of burnt like crazy. So we got this nice black burnt sugar, and then... I just tossed toss these over onto the cast iron real quick just to get them out of the oil. One of them is probably going to be okay. I suspect this one is probably going to be still delicious. I'll of course let you know. And this one I don't think anybody's going to want. Anyway, that's all for now I guess. Until next time, <laughs> stay tuned. Because we're going to be cooking up some more crazy stuff and hopefully it turns out a little better than this time did. 
You know me. I'm your host, Ian Craig. And remember, as always, eat them up.